All right, just taking a quick look at the Runhood 600. This is a, a very unique power station. It's something I've just kind of been curious about ever since it came out this year. So I thought we'd just take a quick look at it. Um, you know, it's basically this, this very portable unit, but the, the, the standout feature is it's got these modular batteries. And you can actually hot swap these batteries. And so with this bundle, you get, you get four batteries. Um, each of them is a little over 300 watt hours each. And the main unit here, you know, takes two at a time. Okay, so it's basically like a 600 watt hour unit. Um, and then if you, if you actually um, swap these things out one at a time, it'll keep the load that you're running going, you know, while you're swapping. And so this is just like, you can just quickly go from, you know, like a low state of charge on this thing. Um, and within like, you know, 30 seconds, you can be back up to like 100%, right? And, and do that without interrupting whatever you're powering. So that, this is kind of like the big, the big feature. And what really makes this system work and what makes it, what really makes it um, complete is the fact that they've, they've actually thought about how, how are you going to charge up those other batteries, right? Because um, that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of the big thing. So actually what we'll do, uh, we'll come back to this screen here in a, in a second. But, um, you know, basically it includes all of the cables that you need, the car charger, solar, the wall. And then um, the big one that, that I want to talk about here is this one. Because this one really makes this system work, like as a complete system. So this, um, this little box that we see here uh, and these adapters, the cabling on them, this input, this is actually the input. So this input can be, you know, you can basically char put the car charger into it. You can put um, solar into it and you can put the wall into it. So all of those have basically the, the same connector type on them, right? And this box actually like is almost like a duplicate version of the main unit. So the main unit has the little 200 watt charger on it. And this box is basically that same thing, right? These uh, ports here, you can just hook up the batteries like directly to it without, you know, without needing the main unit. So basically you can charge up those batteries outside of the main unit, um, <laughs> you know, just as if they were inside of the unit, right? So this is, um, this is what really makes the system work to me and, and just, you know, it's clear that they put a lot of thought into how people would actually use the system, right? So that really enables you to, like you said, do the hot swap feature because you can, you can always have fully charged batteries to, to put into this thing, right? Now, another thing that, that, that is really um, makes this, this just extra special are these adapters here. This is actually an 80 watt pure sine wave inverter. So that's something, um, you know, typically um, inverters less than 200 watts, you don't see pure sine wave. So that's, um, that's obviously going to be really nice if you just got a small little load. I mean, that could be like really useful for like just powering like a router or something, or maybe even just like a really small TV, right? Like, I don't know if I would necessarily like try to max that out at 80 watts, but like, you know, 20, 30, 40 watt load, that should be no problem. And, and what's really nice about having a really small inverter like that, you're not going to have a lot of overhead, right? With the inverter itself. And then it's also got um, a USB adapter. So, you know, either one of these, you know, you can, you can have them on the batteries that you don't actually have inside the unit at the time, right? And, um, and the, the nice thing about this USB is, is, again, it's like a duplicate version of what you see on the main unit. And they actually have um, two, there's two 100-watt USB-Cs, and one of them actually, this one here and this one here is actually an in and out. It's nice to see it on the main unit, but being able to actually power it on one of the batteries separately, I mean, and then also with that, that little inverter that you can actually use because it's pure sine wave, you know, for small loads, it's almost like a system like this, you're getting like two or three power stations in one, right? So, because um, you can be doing things with the main unit, you can be doing things with the, with the batteries here, you know, like, like one of these batteries you could be powering um, something off with one of these adapters another one you could be off charging you know and then you're swapping batteries in and out like there's just there's just like a million things you could do with this unit right i mean if you love portable power you, you could have a field day with this thing right so um 
Yeah, that's just something that's that's kind of like really exciting about this. Now, as I mentioned before, as, as I kind of skipped ahead, this unit um, has a 200 watt input. So um, you remember this is a you know maxed out with two batteries and it's 600 watt hours, right? So um, actually that's not bad. But then you've also got the 100 watt um, USB-C that you can come kind of combine with any of those inputs. And then you know what's nice is you can actually have you know 200 watts going into these batteries as, as I talked about with that with that unique adapter that they include so that's you know almost this is you know all together it's a little over 1200 watt hours almost 1300 watt hours with with all four batteries and you could potentially be putting you know about 500 watts into this this complete system right at any given time so actually that's pretty good specs right for for a modular system like this um, you would think you might you might actually compromise charging speed or something like that but this is actually um, you know pretty that that's pretty good numbers for that too so so there's there's not even really a, a, a big downside with this unit right now just to go over like like the hot swapping a little bit more is basically when you when you pop these batteries in and out the BMS on the display actually updates like in real time. So you could disconnect a, a battery. It's going to update that the screen, the, the percentage right away. And, and you can actually insert, you know, mismatched batteries as well, right? You could insert like a 30% battery and then like a 70% battery. And it'll actually like, you know, take the average basically and display that on the screen. And then it'll, it'll like slowly, um, you know, use the batteries to, to like slowly equalize the charge on them, right? So um, they've definitely like put a lot of work into to the software of this thing to get that to get that to work, and um, you know basically what that means is is you don't have to worry about it, right? I mean you don't have to worry about trying to match up batteries and stuff like that. Like like it's literally just plug and play, and the unit will figure it out, right? So then just moving on. So basically you can have the main unit, you can have like one or two batteries in the main unit, right? And then you see in the background here. They've actually got, um, you know, one or two of the other batteries out there charging, right? So, and then you don't have to, you know, you don't have to move the unit. You know, you can just keep the unit wherever you want it, right? And then just swap out the batteries. You don't actually have to ever move the unit to, to the charging location. And then just a little bit about the, the unit, the main unit itself. You know, obviously this is a very portable unit. It's, it's not a real large unit, but I'd still... I still would have, you know, preferred if they had a way to um, integrate that handle so we'd have a flat top. And then for the screen, it's actually got a very nice display. Um, you know, again, like it seems like they've got all the bases covered with this unit. Um, it does have input watts, output watts, and then right here they don't have it on this graphic, but they actually have the time remaining. And then you get, you know, actual percentage with that, that little um, circle that goes around. And then we got, you know, just a standard... Um, 12 volt outlets, the USB-C we already talked about, and then a 600 watt inverter. So I think that's that's going to cover all your bases. Um, obviously with this particular unit, you know, 600 watt inverter, you're going to be a little little limited. So um, hopefully this company is working on a bigger unit that uses these same batteries, right? I think that would just be key if they could just keep expanding this lineup. If they could if they could come out with a model that's at like um, double the size, like has like a 1200 watt inverter. That would allow you to run like bigger loads when you need it, you know, and use these same batteries. I think that that would be the key thing. They're already making these batteries. Make a whole lineup, you know, don't just have it be able to swap in and out of this unit, right? Make a whole lineup of these these power stations that can use these same batteries. Because I think that would be that would be really trick, right? Because if you had like a, a bigger unit, you could just put some batteries into that thing when you need to run a big load. And then take them out and put them back into like this unit here for, um, you know, smaller and mid-sized loads, right? I definitely just recommend getting the, this bundle with the solar panel or this one, the Max, with all of the, which is basically the complete kit. Don't get this one. You know, what good is this going to do? You're not going to be able to hot swap, <laughs> right? You're not going to, you don't get those really nice adapters that make it like, like more like two or three power stations in one, right? So... And the, and the price is a little high too, right? I mean, you, you're paying more for less, basically, right? Definitely a very interesting unit and something that's, that's just kind of been fun to look at, right? So, um, so yeah, hopefully you find this interesting or helpful. And, and yeah, thanks for watching.